How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Africans and other black folks, including some Americans in China, being expelled from the city of Guangzhou in the southern part of the country. Now, this particular story is of no surprise to me. I know all about China, how racist they are. Well, being racist is not even really their focus. They don't care. They don't they have no empathy. It just don't really it don't matter. If you are identified as a problem or a potential problem or whatever, they don't care about race, nothing. They'll target you and tell you to get out. They'll punish you, put you in jail. That's just what it is. They do it to the Uyghurs. They do it to the Christians. They do it to the Muslims. They do it to political dissidents. Anybody's different opinion in the Communist Party. They do it to anybody. It doesn't really matter who you are or race you are. That's number one. But in this particular case, they're targeting black people, Africans mostly, but some non-Africans, some black Americans, specifically in Guangzhou. Now, we all know about the virus that's killing the whole world right now, one way or the other. More from the restrictions trying to save us than the virus itself. But that's a different story. So for now, I digress. The whole point is that the virus has impacted the whole world and it came from China. It comes from China. We all know that. Wuhan, whether it's the bats and the rats and the cats and the dogs, whether it's the lab, whatever. We know where it started. We know why we're all being affected. Now, they had a big lockdown all over the country, but especially in Ube province and other parts of the nation. And now they're trying to reopen, they're trying to get back to normal. Uh, there have been other waves of the virus, but they're still trying to open at the same time, keeping some social distancing, face masks, hand washing and whatnot. Now, their latest crackdown on the virus includes targeting, quote unquote, foreigners. In this particular case, it's black people, mostly Africans and some other non-Africans. They are being evicted from their apartments. I'll say that one more time because you didn't really understand. If you have a lease to an apartment, you got a, a contract, right? That says, okay, this is my house or this is where I live. I'm renting it for a year. I pay X amount every month and that's just what it is. All right. And China, they're being evicted from those apartments, maybe with leases or whatever they have over there by their landlords because they're black okay maybe they have the virus maybe they don't they're getting evicted without any kind of testing or whatnot and they're also being uh subjected to forced testing so you're being removed from your home without even being tested then you may be having a test forced upon you you can't go to a hotel because they're refusing you because you're black you can't go get something to eat because they're refusing you because you're black i saw a sign from a mcdonald's in guangzhou and if i could find that video I'll place that on the screen before you no black people in the mcdonald's we're doing it for your health okay so you see where this whole thing about we're doing it for your health goes oh you can't go to this particular store because of your health you can't do that you can't do that you got to stand six feet apart not four feet apart you can't have 10 people because if you have 12 you get a ticket uh if you are Gathering a little bit too tight, a uh, joint will come up on you and tell you to disperse. And if you don't, they give you a fine. That's all happening right here in America. But you see where it can lead once you get to the communist state in China. Oh, you're black? Get out. Hotel? Nope. Food? Nope. Where am I going to go? Don't care. Get out. You see what I'm saying? That's where this kind of authoritative, we don't care about you mentality comes from. Now, I'm an American. I thought that America, land of the free, home of the brave. I'm brave enough to be able to go outside with the whole virus going on and protect myself and not feel like I'm going to die if the government don't tell me, oh, you got to stay in your house. Don't come out past 8 o'clock. Uh, you got to wear face masks and gloves and social distancing. It's stupid. I'm brave, right? Free, right? I can leave out my house and drive around in my car without getting pulled over until I got to go home. Land of the free home of the brave. But I digress. The whole point is that China ain't that. And the weirdest part about this whole situation is that I'm not seeing much clamor from the SJW crowd that call people like myself and Trump and many others racist for calling this virus the China virus. Oh, don't call it China virus. Call it COVID-19 and coronavirus. Is it, why not call it the China virus? You got Lyme disease, German measles, the Asian flu, Ebola, Zika. I mean, what's the problem? 
those viruses, illnesses, or whatever are named for where they came from. It's a way to identify the epicenter and some of the characteristics of it and have it be unique in its name from other viruses of the same name. Coronavirus was not unique because that's a family of viruses that include SARS, MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and also the common cold, right? COVID-19 makes no sense. Call the China virus. How about Wu flu or Kung flu? That's racist. Oh, well, getting removed from your apartment that you pay for by the Chinese government because you're black is not racist. This is ridiculous. This, re this reminds me of a lot of people of color, black folks that go out here and protest in favor of illegal aliens. It's like, what are you doing? Do you think they're doing that for you? I don't think so. When they come over here, the illegal aliens, they come over here, they stay amongst each other. They might not speak no English. They see you on the side of the road, they spit on you before they give you a helping hand. That's how that works. They're over here breaking the law. So why do you think they're gonna come over here and be to your assistance and your aid? They're not, they don't care. But a lot of us wanna go out here and protest in favor of the illegal alien that don't care about us as black folks. And we'll also say that calling it the China virus is racist. Meanwhile, try going to China right now as a black person. You can't even get a hotel, um, a, a McRib from McDonald's. You can't even buy an apartment. If you got an apartment that you lease in, oh well, I'm tearing that up. Security deposit, nah, you good, go home. I can't, I don't got enough money. Oh, so well, go home. You see what I'm saying? So I think when we say that things are racist or they're xenophobic or they're hateful, we got to zoom out and get out of our feelings. Look at the whole world and what's happening and things they do to protect themselves and look at where you are right now in comparison to that. As I close, I want to say this. I don't want to hear that I'm racist anymore for saying China virus. OK, or Wu flu or Kung flu or nothing like that. I prefer China virus. Really easy to remember. You know where it comes from. You know what's going on with it. Don't call me racist for that. If you're going to call me racist, then what are you going to call those that are ethnically cleansing Africans from their country? What do you call that? It can't be on the same level as just simple racism. I'm just saying that you might be offended by it. I'm not removing thousands of people from a particular country because they're black. That's got to be a higher level. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that China is correct to expel Africans from Guangzhou because of the virus concerns? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or is it wrong? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Where I stand, I think that China are dead wrong. This is racist. But that's a country. They can do what they want to do. So... If they can do what they want and they're not really being labeled as racist by the mainstream media, I don't see mainstream media covering this story at all. Maybe they'll cover it on their website, but I've not seen it on television. If it has been on TV, you let me know in the comments below. What I will say is that it's hypocritical for people to be quiet about that situation while loud about me saying China virus. Zoom out, look at the whole world and how it operates. Then I think you'd be able to see the good guys and the not so good guys. And if you are being honest, you got to say that the USA almost certainly on the side of the good guys, China, the government, at least, especially the government on the not so good side. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.